We broke some things on this truck at the Sundown Audio Show, and the subs literally started smoking. Let me show you. The Sunday Audio Show was an absolute blast, had so much fun, and overall the truck did pretty good, but we did break some things, we did see some smoke, we had some casualties, it's okay, I'm going to show you all that here in a second. Also, going to be showing clips from the show, Dave bought a ton of demos in this, and got a ton of awesome demos from some of y'all, so stay tuned for that as well. Now the first, at least almost casualty, was this back glass. It was flexing out super far, really loosened it up. Cracked it right there, shook the screw loose. You can see right there, really wore around that screw, loosened everything up. It was moving out to here. Honestly, it sounded terrible. Being a three-piece glass, it was just rattling on itself super bad. Next show, either I need to get a single piece for it next time, or if I don't do that, I really need to tape it up pretty good. For the next casualty, this guy right here let loose. Fortunately, it just looks like the bolt itself that holds it on actually routed off. So let's pop this door panel off, see if we can fix it. Okay, so I found the bolt in there, so that is perfect. We also broke off a couple of the tabs on the bottom of the door panel. I'll see if we can uh, JB weld those back on or something like that. Not the hugest deal in the world. There's a bolt right there. Just got to screw that back on. Let's see if I can do this with the camera. Well, just got to tighten that down, but... I want to say I'm super, super thankful that was all that was. At first, I figured I actually broke the tab on the handle. And, you know, I want to keep this truck at least kind of sort of semi-nice. Not going to be just absolutely blaring it except for shows. So being able to fix this easily, definitely a plus.
Next thing that happened, this was pretty early in the day. I probably demoed nonstop for 30, 45 minutes. Really, really giving it the beans. And this guy back here actually started literally to smoke. Smoke was coming out the top. As soon as I saw that, I really dropped the volume down a lot. I still wanted to keep it playing though at a really, really low frequency just to keep it moving a little bit to keep the air circulating in there. After that, I was nervous all day long that I was going to lose a sub. But guys, I gave out dozens upon dozens of demos the rest of the day. Another two hours or so worth of playing. And it hung on. It just kept going. It was fine the rest of the day. So at the end of the day, both these guys were troopers. They just kept going nonstop. I got them so hot, you literally could not touch the motor. But they just kept on going. Don't know if I can get to focus, but the coil is completely fine. All the leads are completely fine. So I guess it just got really hot and uh, burned off a little extra glue or something. I'm not sure, but regardless, hey, it was fine after that. Near the end of the day, after just absolutely putting these things through a ton, this guy actually started to smoke. I was sitting there demoing, and I saw smoke kind of crawling up through the seat. So, walked over here. The amp was still on. It was still running just fine. was still pushing the sub, but y'all, smoke was coming out of it. So, that's about when I decided probably good time to call it quits for the day. This amp is so hot, 
it's smoking. We have been playing this thing nonstop. Let it cool off for a while, and then when I left, I did power it back on, make sure it was still working. It was still working, still powering the sub just fine. But on the side, the clip light was just stuck on. So I thought that was kind of weird. A protection light was not on, and again, it was still working. But just to be safe, I pulled out the fuses, just so that way it'd be safe driving home. So let's pull this thing out, uh, open up the back, see what damage we caused. In case you're wondering what the inside of one of these 5Ks looks like, here you go. Surprisingly, I don't actually see anything bad, except you can tell this guy right here got really, really crispy, but all the uh, caps look good. I know when I blew my tar amps, I blew a bunch of these fellas, but they all look just fine over here. Also, these things do have two fans. And they are really, really quiet, way quieter than the Tar Amps fans. Interesting. Maybe I should plug this up and see what it does. Okay, I'm going to power it on. So it's on, and as you can see, the clip light is just stuck on. But no sparks, nothing went kapow, so who knows? Maybe we can get this fixed. No, I am in by no means a uh, amplifier expert, but I do believe that this is the transformer. So maybe we can get that replaced. Again, I don't see anything else that is messed up. When I blew my other other amps I've blown, it's been pretty evident. There are some circuitry or the, or the caps or something uh, else had blown, but everything else looks to be all right. Other than that, I don't think we really damaged too much. Uh, it did take me a while to get my hood open today. Not sure what that was about, but other than that, checked all the wires, all the fuses, uh, nothing looked damaged, burned, out of place. So overall, electrical system, not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Once again, I am so, so happy I did not end up blowing one of those subs. I thought for sure it was going to be a goner. <laughs>
want to give a huge shout out to everybody at the Sundown Show that either came and got a demo or that gave me a demo. Uh, every single clip I got is posted in this video. So thank you all so, so much. Love getting to hear uh, all of y'all systems. Love getting to meet so many of you. And it was so much fun letting everybody experience this vehicle as well. Everybody that heard it said they were very pleasantly surprised and that videos don't do it justice. Really did do pretty well for a no wall 215s. That's going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Should I do a build in the Sequoia here next? Maybe that's what I'll do. Need to redo the doors. Thinking about 615s or something like that in there. Not 100% sure yet, but cannot wait to see a bunch of y'all at the next show I go to. Probably will be Ruckus and Chill. But hey, if I don't see you there, hopefully I'll see you at sundown next year. That's going to do it, guys. Remember, as always, keep basing on.